Recently in Tanzania, there was some big news. It is about Tanzania SGR and it is now clear that who will provide electric trains and electric locomotives. South Korean conglomerate Hyundai Rotem announced on 6 July 2021 that it received notification of a word of a tender from Tanzania Railway Corporation TRC for the supply of 80 electric trains and 17 electric locomotives for the use on the standard gauge railway currently under construction in Tanzania. The electric trains are worth Korean won 215.7 billion and the electric locomotives are worth Korean won 119.7 billion for a total of Korean won 335.4 billion equal to US dollar 292 million and are expected to be delivered by 2024. They are first eco-friendly electric trains operating in Tanzania where diesel trains have been operated and it will be used on the line connecting Dar es Salaam and Makutupora, part of the SGR project. Hyundai Rotem explained in its press release that the performance of the product optimized for African markets such as Egypt, Tunisia and Nigeria, stable delivery results and outstanding business management capabilities acted as a positive factor in winning this order. As part of Tanzania Standard Gauge Railway Line project, the new train cars will operate on 546 km high-speed electric line spanning between Dar es Salaam to Makutupora. All 97 train cars will operate at a maximum speed of 160 km per hour and will have the capacity to carry up to 590 commuters. Tanzania opted to use electric trains and electric locomotives, but what are the benefits of this? Electric lines mean the train with heavy diesel engines are not needed, plus trains don't need to carry their own fuel. Power is supplied by overhead cables, this means that electric trains are lighter than diesel trains. According to RailwayTechnology.com, electric trains are more environmentally friendly too, emitting between 20% and 30% less carbon monoxide than their diesel counterparts. Figures published by Telegraph in 2009 say that electric trains cost 20% less than diesel trains per mile to maintain. Fuel cost per mile is 47% for diesel and 26% for electric trains and even track wear and tear is said to be more expensive with diesel trains. For the passengers, there is also benefits. The journeys in electric trains will be faster and quieter journeys with more seats on trains and improved reliability on some of the busiest routes. There is a phenomenon called sparks effect in which electrifications lead to more people using the train. It is speculated that this could be because the electric train seems more modern or because of faster and smoother service. Better acceleration in electric trains could mean long journey will take just a short period of time. So far, it seems the electric trains are more cost-effective, more environmentally friendly and apparently quieter. So I wish all the best to Tanzania to complete this marvelous and the most ambitious project in East Africa. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, share and subscribe to The Boss TV. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Until then, as always, bye-bye.